The debate over filling the vacancy in the nation's highest court is heating up on Capitol Hill. Republican members of the Senate Judiciary Committee say in a letter to the Senate Majority Leader that they are under no obligation to vote on or even hear the president's nominee to the Supreme Court. Senator David Bitter, a member of the Senate Judiciary Committee, signed that letter and he joins me now. Senator, let me just ask you, isn't this sure. what the American public is frustrated about right now is sort of the just the the no that is going on in Washington. Do you worry about angering people with this move? Uh, I don't. I've talked to a lot of folks in Louisiana. They think they should be in charge. They should be driving the train in a big election year. And we have the opportunity to put them in charge through the presidential election. I think that's empowering them. And I think that's what voters want, citizens want, not insider politics in Washington, but for citizens to be in charge finally. We were looking at the legal language, and I'm not a lawyer, but it says he shall nominate and buy in with the advice and consent of the Senate judges in the Supreme Court. You think that legal language gives you the power to not even have a hearing? Absolutely. Melissa, uh, forget about my opinion. There is no one who argues that somehow we are constitutionally bound to have a hearing or a vote this year. No one argues that. Not a single constitutional scholar anywhere. Uh, The president nominates the Senate, takes that nomination up on its own schedule, advice and consent, Uh, confirmation or no confirmation. And it's clearly the majority will of the Senate to put the American people in charge in this election year. If you had to put it into numbers, a percentage, how confident are you that you'll be able to stay the course on this and not have a hearing and not go forward? What do you think? Well, I'm, I'm very, very confident ultimately because I think a clear majority of the American people want to be in charge through the presidential election. They understand how important any Supreme Court vacancy, certainly this vacancy is. Filling this vacancy could have a more lasting impact on the country than the next president, who who might serve for eight years, but, but this vacancy could have an impact for decades to come. Senator, thank you so much for coming on. Appreciate your time. Good 